Hey YouTube, been a while. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how to quickly and easily take off a drum brake off a forklift. But you know, most people get a hammer, they do like so. You know, with a real hammer though, you hit on the back side, get a pry bar, pry on it, do this, you know, all the little bang bang tricks. But there's a much yet easier, effective way. First, you know, you get it to here, Get it jacked up, tire off the wheel, uh, half axle out. Once you get your half axle as presented, you, this isn't my work area. The guy, he already put this side new and needed new uh, master uh, wheel cylinders. He already did this side, but he's working on the other side and no one's here right now, so fast video. Grab said, sh said shaft, you line it up, but backwards. Like so, you put some bolts in, like so, hang on. All right, got some bolts in, just enough to hold it up. Uh, four or five usually, only by hand. That's the key part, by hand, you make these tight to where this is nice and snug. Now, this just came off, so it's gonna come off very easy, but with these bolts by hand, once again, only by hand, make them snug. You come to the end of your half axle, and you're gonna use it like a pulley. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Until it's loose again. And then, you know, support your shaft again. Kinda hard with one hand. <laughs> By hand only, once again, make your bolts tight. All the way around, you want equal pressure. But like I said, this one just came off, so it's gonna come off very easy. Just work it off. And you see it moved already but i'm not gonna pull all the way off put that bitch back on so that's my tip use your half axle as a pulley just work this back and forth and once it becomes loose again loose right here just close the gap by making your bolts hand tight once again only hand tight with this trick instead of beating and prying on the brake drum for who knows hour 30 minutes 20 minutes however long it takes you just take out your half shaft pop it over flip it back this way work on it and what that does is hang on some of that youtube magic push that off again anyways before you do this trick you also have to take off your uh lock nut and said washers in order in order to take this off because the threads on here that holds all this together anyways back to the science of this once you take out your half shaft axle the center piece right there it should be nice and solid i can't really point at it got one, one hand on this and that metal round piece presses on this and you know walks it back and forth walks it out and instead of like, you know, sometimes you get springs that break on the inside and the drum is stupid hard. It takes at least two hours, you know, easy to take it out. But even with this said trick, putting the half axle backwards, walking it out by hand on bolts, make them tight. You could get it off in 30 minutes, easy. You ain't gotta break your back or nothing. Just pull on the half axle like a big pulley. And that's how I usually take off drum brakes. It works on Mitsubishi's, Mazda's, and the L's for sure because that's what I've been doing it on. Uh, I only learned about this a couple months ago too, so it's not nothing everyone knows. It's pretty uncommon actually. Uh, so that's today's video tip on forklift drum brakes. See y'all later.